I'm so happy to see you again. I loved having you on the show. You were here uh, a couple of years ago, which seems crazy. It was two years ago. It was two years ago. It seemed insane. Yeah, it seems like just a few months ago. It's I know. Crazy. I know. Well, I'm happy to see you uh, all by yourself. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was with Colin last time, and this is way more fun. Yeah, well, he's fun, too. Hey, congratulations on the new season of SNL. The premiere was, like, the most watched premiere in four years. Is that right? Really? I, I didn't know that. I, I, I never know that. Yeah. I got to remember that when uh, contracts are renegotiated. Yeah. I just made it up, but you can, you can use it. Um, no, it's true. I have people that tell me those things. How is it be, is it, is it, I mean, it's strange for all of us to be back at work doing things in a different way. What is it like there? I mean, it's just as strange. It's so many different protocols, but you know, just like anything, once you do it for about a week, you're just used to doing protocols, you know? Like it was weird to see people with masks in about March, and now it's weird to not see people in masks, and it's weird not to wash your hands like a demon every 20 minutes or so and, and distance. So it's, it's kind of just picking up good habits, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I know. Things that we all should have been doing anyway, washing our hands more often. Um, <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> So you're, with Weekend Update, you're always dealing with breaking news. I mean, you shoot on a Saturday and it's live. And when, when we got the news that, that the president tested positive, uh, what was your reaction to that? It stinks. You know, a lot of people, I'm sure you get this too, people think comedy is easier now that Trump's president. And it's so much harder. You can have a, a whole week's worth of material and it all goes out the window because something crazy happens because that's the world we live in. It's like, uh, it's like being on a bad episode of Chopped or some kind of reality show where they just throw a weird ingredient. You're like, well, now I got to do this. It's the strangest thing in the world. So this week in particular, he, him getting sick just undid a lot of the things we were trying to do. But, you know, I, I can't help but uh, find the humor in that. So Colin and, and Scarlett, uh, Colin is your pal, and Colin and Scarlett have now been engaged. They were supposed to get married. Will you be in the wedding? I hope so. I mean, not if they wanted to go all over smoothly, but if not, you know, I would love to go and just disrupt everything, you know? I, I, I think they'll let me in because they feel like they have to, and I think that's going to be a big mistake. <laughs> Then, then I would love to be invited as well, because I'd like to watch that. <laughs> you could be my plus one. It'd be awesome. I would love to. Um, speaking of that, I asked you last time who I could say. Yeah, I couldn't believe you were single. Um, and I was like, how can I say? Because I think you're just adorable. I just love you. And seriously, I have like Thank a little, I have a little crush on you. Just, just don't tell anybody. Um, but who, have you, who would you like me to set you up with? Have you thought about it? I mean, I don't know. This, well, this is, this, I don't know. There's one lady in Whole Foods that I really like. She works in the produce <laughs> section. And her name is Maple. And uh, <laughs> she's really sweet and she's kind of standoffish in the way that I like. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if you know anybody there, but. All right, where is the Whole Foods? Just give me the location. Uh, it's 24th Street and 6th Avenue. <laughs> okay. And what area does she work? Is she like, you know, at the register? Or where does she work? Produce between the green peppers and the uh, kumquat. All right. <laughs> Great. And, and what is her name? Maple. OK. Maple, he likes you. <laughs> it's, it's done. I've settled it. I, hope, I really hope she sees this. OK. I, don't know. I hope so, too. Um, hey, can I ask you about uh, Dave Chappelle's situation he's got going on? So Chris Rock was here, and I guess there are comedians that are flying to Dave Chappelle's place um, and doing stand-up, and everyone there, when they go, they drink this mushroom tea. Did you do that? Listen, I am sworn to secrecy of the shenanigans that goes on at Camp David, but... Um, <laughs> I, I will say I did hear something about some mushroom tea, and I and I did maybe see um, a couple of monsters and uh, fighting in the stars. I'll just say that, but it was such a blast, man. I mean, come on, it's the greatest living comedian. Just uh, go to his house and hang out and do comedy and in a safe environment. It was just, it was amazing. It made my summer. 
I, I, well, I don't know why you're sworn to secrecy, because Chris Rock was telling us everything he, everybody was doing. But um, all right, I'll let, I'll let you stay there, though. Um, we well, have to I, don't know, I don't know if you know this, Ellen, but uh, Chris Rock is a tad more famous than me. So I'm easier, <laughs> I'm more disposable. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my invite. Chris probably has a key there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you're not disposable. Um, all right. I, I don't think you are, and neither does Maple. And uh, we're going to take a break, and um, we'll be back with Michael after this. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball peen hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, God. God.